this is not what I was expecting to see today, but listen, let's talk about this. So if you don't know who the ex-Eagles $4 million pro bowler is, I don't blame you because he hasn't played a snap yet for the Philadelphia Eagles. This player is actually Devin White, linebacker. Now, if you think of Devin White, you probably think of his time with Tampa Bay because that's all he has done so far is play for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But he did recently join the Eagles this year and hasn't played a single snap. And now they cut him. So now that he hit free agency, there is some teams that might be interested in him. Now, of course, his injuries are going to be the biggest problem here. Because outside of injuries, again, he is only 26 years old. He's not really that bad, to be honest. I mean, 2020, he was a uh, all-pro second teamer. And in 2021, he was a pro bowler. Devin White is a player where if you put him in the correct system, correctly around good enough players, he can look really good. But you have to have him in around really good stars that elevate him. He cannot be a star by himself. And I think that's really where the kicker comes in. Is that if you have him in the correct unit, he can be really good. But if he's the only guy, he's not going to be that good. Um, overall wise, it comes down to price tag. It really does. Do we need linebacker? Yes. Do we need defensive lineman? Yes. Do we need pass rusher? Yes. You know, do we need secondary help to a certain degree? We do actually, because Dax Hill's out for the season. But it, again, it comes down to the correct price tag. And I think price tag, ugh, if we're getting into a bidding war, I'm not really interested in it. You know, it would have to be a very friendly price tag for us where we're winning big time by getting him. It's a, you know, no nothing contract. It's nothing guaranteed. It's just he has a chance to be successful for us. And if it works out, it works out. Because if you look at his grades to the last, you know, whole entire career so far, pretty much, it's not that great. They are not that great. But again, if you look at the fact of other t players in his system in Tampa Bay, for example, that was 2020 was the year that they beat the uh, Chiefs in the Super Bowl and went ahead and dominated, then it's fine, right? It's, it's okay if you have him in next to correct players who are really good. But again, you know, I don't know. I feel like if we're going to go get a guy or sign a guy, we're probably looking for someone who can make an impact right away, who can be that impact player. This isn't the guy I think he were, we would probably go for slash would help us out in that category. It's a cool idea. It's a cool concept, but I'm not really too interested in it. Now, the second player is um, coming in here from Bleacher Report. So you already know if it's Bleacher Report, it's probably not logical. And it isn't because they think we should sign Marcus Peters. Now, a veteran cornerback, I agree with. And if we want to trade for a veteran corner, potentially, okay. Marcus Peters, I'm not really a fan of. Slash, I don't really think we need to go get him. Um, we could get somebody else, but Marcus Peters isn't really the guy I'm thinking about. Um, honestly, I might rather just go get Eli Apple before we go get Marcus Peters. <laughs> or Trey Flowers over Marcus Peters. So right now, Marcus Peters, let's see, is, is he actually currently on a team? He might still be. Is he still on the Raiders? Uh, he, is, he is a free agent. Yeah, he is currently a free agent uh, for good reason. Um, he's 31 years old, uh, has not played a full season since 2018. It's not the most ridiculous thing in the world, but again, unless it's very, very much league minimum and worth absolutely nothing, I don't trust that, first off, him in coverage, okay, I don't trust that. Second off, I don't trust him staying healthy. And third off, I don't trust him not having a meltdown on the field and costing us 15 yards. You got to keep in mind, this is the same guy who punched Joe Mixon in the stomach. This is the same guy who would get, you know, 15-yard penalties because he would lose his cool and lose his temper on the field. Like, this is not like this is a player who hasn't had controversy when it comes to 
you know, things he has done on the field. The reason why he left um, the Chiefs is because after a penalty was th uh, thrown, he literally picked up the flag and threw it into the crowd. Like, this guy is a hothead. So, I, I, I don't agree with that. And Bleacher Report, you saying it makes it even more reasons why I just don't agree with it. But, it's one of those situations where I do agree, go get a veteran corner. I do agree, get a veteran pass rusher, maybe a veteran linebacker, but it has to, again, all go together perfectly. It has to work out for us, and then it has to be a contract that is smart for us, and it also has to be a player who, in all honesty, is not going to risk you know, hurting us by his actions and how he's acting. So, I, I like the idea of suggesting going signing free agents. But the reason why I haven't made a free agent video and talked about potential free agents to sign is because of the fact that right now free agency is accessible. It really is. And if you want to go get someone, you're going to have to go trade for someone. The sad part is, you know, especially this time of the season, you don't really see too many players who are really good on free agency because everyone right now is trying to compete and trying to have a good season. Once people's seasons start going bad and you start seeing players getting traded and players getting cut, that's when free agency becomes a little bit more of a less of a cesspool, right? But right now, like they say with the dating pool, someone pissed in it. And right now that's the free agency pool. Someone pissed in it and now it's a bunch of piss in there. So I'm okay. You know, the guys we have on our roster right now, I have a lot of confidence in. I think we just need to put it together. Um, I still will say a million times, I think we need to trade for somebody. But if we're going for the kiddie pool here, I'm okay with not going for it. Because I think that this is not going to work out. None of those guys are going to work out. Devin White might be the best option, but Marcus Peters is a no-go. And outside of Marcus Peters... It's not, it's not looking good for free agency. So, let's just win tonight. I will be live tonight for this game. We'll be going crazy, insane, screaming our heads off, even though it's the Giants. Every single game matters, and every single game is important. Uh, we can never take any game for granted, because that's how you lose. And that's how you end up at the bottom of your division. Guys, let's just get set. Let's get, let it go. And hopefully the ASD North loses today. Go Raiders. Go Commanders. And go Eagles. Peace out.